Job 38 verse 12. Have you commanded the morning since your days began and caused the dawn to know its place? As believers, we have a responsibility to command our day. For every time you wake up in the morning, there's a need for us to always, at all times, command your day. Have you commanded your day since the day began? For the next few minutes, I will give us the opportunity to begin to speak into the day. Speak into your day. What do you want to see today? By the Spirit of God, begin to speak it into existence. A man they fell like a path. Open up your mouth and pray it into existence. For the Bible says, out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth speak. Just open up your mouth and pray to existence. Begin to pray it into existence. Whatever it is, as you rise up this morning and you go about your activities of the day, begin to speak what you want into existence. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Whatsoever you bind on earth, bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose on earth, is lost in heaven. The Bible says, decree a thing and it to be established. Open up your mouth and begin to make declaration. Open up your mouth and pray in the Holy Ghost. Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3 and it says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and the spirit of God was over it over the face of the waters and God said let there be light and there was light have it at the back of your mind that before the word came the spirit of God hovered first and we've gotten to understand that the spirit of God now dwells inside of us in the Old Testament the spirit of God was in what they call the Ark of Covenant but in the New Testament the spirit of God has moved from the Ark of Covenant and now dwells in us what does this mean we are the mobile Ark of Covenant wherever we go to the spirit of God goes there and the Bible has it written that after the spirit is done brooding a word comes and after the word comes there is a manifestation this is the operation of the spirit the spirit has to brood the word comes and there is a perfection remember that the spirit of god is the spirit of power and is the spirit that brings this to manifestation so when we pray in tongues we are not praying in tongues because we are lost or ignorant we are praying in tongues because we know sometimes our mind can be unfruitful and we don't allow the spirit of god brooding us after brooding in us it gives us all chances and we speak those all chances as prophecies and they are manifestations just open up your mouth and begin to blast in the holy ghost just brood in the holy ghost just brood in the holy ghost just brood in the holy ghost Something is stirred up on the inside of you. Just brood in the Holy Ghost. Just go deeper. Hey, Maleko Fayada, hey, Maneka Falegede, 
Out of your belly flows rivers of living water. Double blast in the Holy Ghost. Rima Baba, he capale, he suvadana, he capane, he matane, he padane, he manacapayada, he keleke paracada, frande pas supalagada, he kepelekete, he paleke paracada, he radadada, he manacadada, he macadada. And I speak over your life, Akatele Kadesh, standing on the authority that I have in scripture, and also standing on the grace of the prophetic and the apostolic i decree by the spirit that your day is blessed in the name of jesus i command you to enter into your place of rest i decree over your life unlimited supply in the name of jesus every spirit of lack has been expelled in the name of jesus as you go about your assignment for the day i decree balakapade if alakata if I be a man of God, I decree by the Spirit, in the name of Jesus, you will return with the testimony. In the name of Jesus, I decree that your troublers are troubled. Everyone that has risen up against you is condemned. In the name of Jesus, enter into your place of rest. Enter into your season of harvest. A man of suffering, you will testify. In the name of Jesus. And to as many that has been experiencing a downtime in life, in business, in career, in this season, because you listened to this prayer and you responded to this prayer, I decree today will not end without your testimony. Enter into your place of great harvest. In the name of Jesus, I decree you will testify. The Bible made us to understand in Matthew 18, 18 that whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven and whatsoever you lose on earth is lose in heaven. You have the power and authority to determine what happens in the realms of the spirit. You are a God. Life flows from inside of you. I rana kapele kof rana mano sigede elande pere koton vayada erakatane feregede don't joke with this moment open up your mouth and pray just speak to your father he wants to hear you talk to him eli pere koton da falegede he's so much interested in a relationship with you you speaking to your father and your father speaking back to you for we do not have a high priest who do not understand how we feel he understands everything about us he has an understanding about everything that concerns us he is touched by everything that concerns us open up your mouth and just talk to your father hey do not be silent I pray from the depth of your spirit. Pray with every fiber of your being. Let everything that you have made up pray. Let everything that you have made of pray. The Lord is in search of those that will diligently seek Him. Seek God with all your heart, with everything that you are made of. It's time to seek God with all your heart, with everything that you are made of. It's time to seek God with all your heart, with everything that you are made of. The devil is so scared when you enter into a place of prayer because he knows that in that realm you have authority 
to make decrees that can put him on his knees. So one of the things he does is that he fights your prayer life. He attacks your prayer life. He knows fully well that the very moment you become very active in the realm of prayers, he is in trouble. So what he tries to do is to protect his sanity by keeping you away from a place of prayer. No wonder the Bible says that men ought always to pray and not to faint. That we should pray without ceasing. It is a lefeno paragada. It is God's will that we pray without ceasing. It is God's will that we spend time in intimacy. It is God's will that we spend time talking to Him consistently at all times, talking to Him at all times, having a consistent relationship with Him. A rather powerful. And that is why we have gathered here today so that we can pray, we can commune, we can talk to Him, we can hear His voice, and He can hear our voice. That is why we are here today. And for the next few minutes, I want you to close your mind, yes. Forget about everything around you and just concentrate on your Father. Just feel His presence. Yes, the Holy Spirit can be felt. Feel His presence. Just imagine that He's around you, speaking to you, and just begin to pray in the language of the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Let's see the book of Hebrews chapter 4 from verse 1 to 7. And it says, Therefore, since the promise remains of entering his rest, let us fear lest any of you seem to have come short of it. For indeed, the gospel was preached to us as well as to them. But the word which they heard did not profit them. Just like you've heard this prayer, this prayer was designed to reach a vast audience. The way a lot of us listen to these prayers and get blessed, there are a few persons that would listen to this prayer and it will not profit them. Verse 2 says again, For indeed the gospel preached was preached to us as well as to them, but the word which they have heard did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. The reason why these words did not profit them is because their listening of the word or their receiving of the word was not mixed with faith. That means you need faith to bring about the manifestation you desire. You need faith to bring everything that God has decreed into manifestation. Now we are going to be decreeing the faith that brings about the answers, the faith that brings about the manifestation dwells in every one of us. Hebrew 11 verse 1 says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Meaning, faith has the ability to bring all things into existence. Even if they don't exist right now, faith has the ability to bring them into existence. So faith is the most important part of our Christian life, our faith and our belief in God. Now we're going to be praying that the gift of faith will rest upon each and every one of us. We do not operate like people without faith. Our faith is built, we are strengthened. Open up your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus that even as these words come, as the Lord has decreed these things, that we have received faith to bring it into manifestation, that the gift of faith is evident and dwelling in us in the name of Jesus. We have received faith to bring these things to manifestations. Open up your mouth and pray that we have received faith. We have received faith to bring these things to manifestations. As it is written in the scriptures, we decree and we declare that our faith is strengthened, that we are built up from within. In the name of Jesus, the faith that produces manifestations. I decree that it rests upon each and every one of us. And I make this declaration 
in the name of Jesus. As many that have trust in God for one thing or the other in this season, in the name of Jesus, I decree that it has come to you now. In the name of Jesus, so many of you wrote down one or two prayer points coming into this year and it looked as if nothing has happened and we are already in the eighth month of this year. I decree in the name of Jesus, just like Abraham and Sarah received their promise after waiting for so long, which is the promise of Isaac. In the name of Jesus, you will receive your promise. All that the Holy Ghost has decreed into your life in this year is coming to pass. In the name of Jesus, all that the Holy Ghost has made available for you in this season is coming to pass. In the name of Jesus, you have entered into your place of rest. You have entered into your season of harvest. In the name of Jesus, in this season, we decree that the Lord has opened doors for you. He has made all grace abound towards you. You no longer operate in lack. You do no longer operate in want. In the name of Jesus, I decree that as many that are trusting God, for a divine provision to sort out a need, I decree in the name of Jesus, that provision is now. That provision has come in the name of Jesus. I want you to put it in the comment section. I have been divinely provided for. I am deeply loved. I am highly favored. I am extravagantly blessed. Psalms 1 to 1 and it says, I will lift up my eyes to the ears from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither sleep nor slumber. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. We are going to be speaking this prayer over our families that the Lord will preserve our families from this time forth, even forevermore. That in our families, the sun shall not smite us by day, neither with the moon by night. The devil is so much interested in your homes, is so much interested in your families. The Bible has it written that the primary assignment of the devil is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The primary assignment of the devil is to create confusion in homes. The primary assignment of the devil is to make sure that in every family that the light of God is not revealed. So he talks day and night just to ensure that this light of God that has been created or destined to manifest to not manifest. But Psalms 1 to 1 says that we will lift up our eyes to the ears. We know the plans of the devil and we know the plans of the evil ones. We know what he plans to achieve, our pen. But in the midst of that, we will lift up our eyes to the ears. For whence comes our help? Our help comes from the Lord, who makes heaven and the earth. Now we're going to be decreeing help from the Lord in our family, that the Lord will help us. Open up your mouth and pray. I don't know what your family is going through. I don't know the challenge that faces you right now. I don't know the issue that is in front of you right now. Some of you are at the verge of divorce. Some of you are at the verge of breaking up. Some of you, your children are not living according to the pattern in which you represent. Ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord to help you. The Bible says vain is a man that trusts in the arm of flesh. So begin to ask the Lord to help you. Father, we pray that you help us. We pray that you help our families. We pray that you help our children. Father, we pray that you help us. 
the Lord is so brother. No family will break off. Every family that is at the verge of divorce, in the name of Jesus, by supernatural intervention, we decree in the name of Jesus, the love in the family is restored. Elect the I've gotten to understand that marriage is not a two-way thing. It's not a relationship between a man and a woman. Marriage is a relationship between God, the man and the woman, just like a pyramid. So, you might get married to a partner because you love the person at first. But with time, there is a tendency that that love starts fading away. Is it because you have started noticing some things about the person that you never knew and the things are disgusting or you have gotten so used to the person so what sustains that marriage is not the love you felt at first but the love that God shows on you guys so when you are in love with your partner God should be the middleman that even when the partner start developing some faults your focus shifts completely from the partner and focus on God the love of God now becomes the love of the family the love of God now becomes the love that sponsors the marriage the love of God now becomes the love that the father has towards the child the child might be wayward but just like Christ did while we were yet in sin Christ died for us while we were unclean Christ died for us the perfect interpretation of Christ's love for us is a union between a man and a woman why we were yet in sin because of God's sufficient love he sent Christ to die for us now we're going to be decreeing that the love of Christ will rest and dwell in every home the love of Christ will dwell in every family open up your mouth and make these declarations every broken home is coming back together in the name of jesus because god did not bring you together so you could separate god brought you together so that you can live an eternal life together in the name of jesus i decree that broken marriage is coming back together that spirit of divorce it is not of the lord so i decree right now Divorce will not be your portion. And if divorce has happened in the past, supernaturally, you are coming back together. Supernaturally, by the blood of the covenant, you are coming back together. For the scripture says, we know not what to pray as we ought to, but the spirit make an intercession for us with groanings that cannot be altered. Open up your mouth and just begin to groan in the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. If rana mere subra katane mele kubra de, riba rakatane fe libra katong subra de, ira kapele subra ke fe rebra do subra de, ika rakatane ke pere kotong mele gede, el libra do subra de kapele gede. Graces are released if only you can pray. Ira no subra na kapele gede, el libra kapele subra kade, el meri fara kapale kubra gadas. The primary importance of prayer is not because you want to ask for something from God. Prayer was not only designed to ask God for something, but prayer is a tool for communication. Right from the beginning of creation, after God created man, he came down to this earth to fellowship with man. And this has been the pattern. God always wants to fellowship with his children. He wants to have a strong relationship with his children. It's so bad that a lot of believers now, all they think prayer is, is asking God for something but it goes beyond asking him for something God needs a time of intimacy with you he wants to spend time with you he wants to commune with you he wants to give you instructions he wants to speak to you so you can speak back to him God needs to have a personal time with you and that is what I've come to help you do today I've come to lead you to a place of prayer a place of intimacy to help you see God's face better to help you pray better to know him better so wherever you are, just close your eyes and just begin to speak in the language of the Holy Ghost. Remember what I said, it's not about asking God for anything. But right now it's about intimacy, it's about fellowship, knowing who your Father truly is. Just speak in the language of the Holy Ghost. For he that prays in an unknown tongue speaks not to man, 
but speaks to spirits and the Spirit of God speaks to God Himself because the Spirit searches all things, even the deep things. Open up your mouth and lift up your voices and begin to pray in the language of the Holy Ghost. Erima raka fenom raka tali brede if raka pano sub raka fele brokoto eke ribra no farakada erima raka tali legere yes you can go deeper just speak in the language of the Holy Ghost iraka pande fele brakuto imeno raka paragere eriba raka fele raka tali belegere for there is a spirit in man from the bread of the Almighty that brings things back to life eraka pande fele brakata. E mamba raka teli vrekoto, e ramane ne verhi brakata, e meli vraka paragada. Just blast in the Holy Ghost. E ripa raka feli brakoto, e raka pele kuvrada kaperegere, e libro koton varakadas. E rima raka tali vreko paragere, e menu vraka perekoton balegere, e kapele sun de per raka tane velegere, e raka pele vrekoton. Just blast in the Holy Ghost. Abambandi feliba kapa, e meni subana karegodo, e rima raka ten de fele, e mali baraka papaba, e meni vraka parakata, e meli vraka tadade, e raparakata. No wonder Apostle Paul said that I may know you and the power of his resurrection and fellowship of the Spirit. E rima raka talagada, e mani felibra kato, rameno suvalagadash. Thank you, Jesus. Let's see the book of Joel chapter 2. I'll be reading from verse 15. And it says, Blow the trumpet in Zion. Consecrate a fast. Call a sacred assembly. Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. Assemble the elders. Gather the children and the nursing babes. Let the bridegroom go out from his chamber and the bride from her dressing room. Let the priest who minister to the Lord weep between the porch and the altar. Let them say, Bear your people, O Lord, and do not give your heritage to reproach, that the nation should rule over them. Why should they say among the people, Where is their God? Then the Lord will be zealous for his land and pity his people. The Lord will answer and say to his people, Behold, I will send you grain and new wine and oil, and you will be satisfied by them. I will no longer make you a reproach among the nations, but I will remove far from you the northern army and will drive him away into a barren and desolate land with his face toward the eastern sea and his back toward the western sea. His stench will come up and his foul odor will rise because he has done monstrous things. Verse 21 says, Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done marvelous things. Do not be afraid, you beast of the field, for the open pastures are springing up, and the tree bears its fruit. The fig trees and the vine heal their strength. Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain faithfully, Alibrados, and he will cause the rain to come down for you, the former rain and the latter rain, in the first month. This is complete restoration. I don't know what you've lost. I don't know what that issue might be or that challenge might be. I want to decree to you today that the Lord has the ability to restore all that you have misplaced. Not just what has been lost in the past, but also give you the reward for now. And I decree and speak over your life that as many that have lost anything in the past, I decree that the restoration has come now. In the name of Jesus, I decree by the Spirit Receive your restoration now in the name of Jesus. He says the threshing floors shall be full of wheat and the vats shall overflow with new wine and oil. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be put to shame. One of the hardest things to be restored is yes. And God is saying to you that He will restore the yes that the locust, the cacawam, the caterpillar has stolen from you. Even this great army, He said you will eat it in plenty and be satisfied. I decree by the Spirit that this is your portion. In the name of Jesus, I decree you will eat in plenty and be satisfied in the name of Jesus. 
I decree lack is gone in the name of Jesus. I decree the Lord has satisfied your youth in the name of Jesus. No more wants in your life. No more lack in your life. I decree by the Spirit of God. That the people that you think has gone ahead of you in the name of Jesus. Standing on the road of the prophetic. You are recovering all in the name of Jesus. You are getting back to them in the name of Jesus. And you are exceeding that expectation in the name of Jesus. For every year that has been lost, I decree Kapanifala that the Lord is restoring it back to you in the name of Jesus. I command you enter into your season of abundance, enter into your season of great harvest. No more lack in your life, no more wants in your life in the name of Jesus. You shall be massively rewarded in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. I am not speaking on my own accord. I am speaking as I have been assigned or ordained to speak. And I decree and I pray over your life. For every word of prophecy that has been spoken over your life will find a place of expression. In the name of Jesus. Rana Iban Ikala Ila Rakata Imara Cafeno Broco Sonde Ila Mename no Suta Ida Nanameno Copayada Ipana Cafaragade Just pray in the Holy Ghost Ele Broco Paragatana Balegade Emene Cafaraga Paragade Ema Baracatani Baraka de Balegade Ele Melega Broco Tovalagade Emene Baraka Paragade Suparagade Ila Menu Vraca Peregadeno Subraca Legere Ila Capereke Broco Paraca de Paleco Paragere Ila Mereke Braca Paraca Tale Paragere Ira Malega de Legere Ele Broco Paraca de Venoco Parade E Satana Malegere Just lift up your voices and just speak in the language of the Holy Ghost Ira Namalagada E Catana Malegere E Supaleke Pelegere Ele Mena Beragada E Nacaso Payada Ira Meneco Falegere Oh La Pana there's a spirit that is springing out from the inside of you. Ele mana kapaya de, e na malega de. Just stir it up. Ele paragada. There is a fire that is burning on the inside of you. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, and it says, "Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you." Philippians 4:13. Says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Isaiah 40 verse 31 says, But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And finally, Isaiah 41 verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not be dismayed, for I am your God. This is God speaking to you. Fear not, I am with you. Be not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. A lot of us, we have put in so much. And it looks as if we have gotten to that brick wall. Our strength is failing us. It looks as if we can't do anything anymore. We are tired. We have done so much. But it looks like nothing is working out. And at this point of your life, what is the next thing for you? Your strength has gone weak. And you, you feel like giving up. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 24 verse 13, that if you faint in days of adversity, your strength is small. God requires you to be strengthened from the inside. God requires you to be built up from the inside. Even when it looks as if the challenges around you are so mighty and magnified. God requires you to be strengthened from inside. To be built up. God wants you to take your eyes off 
the challenges that are before you yeah. and focus on Jesus. The Bible says, looking unto yeah. Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, the spice yeah. the shame, and now he is seated at the right hand of the Son yeah. of God. If Rano Paragada, what keeps you consistent in the place of prayer? What keeps you consistent in the place of your work study? What keeps you consistent in the place of your working with God? Is by looking up to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of your faith. As you behold, so was your faith transformed. We're going to be praying for divine strength. The strength of the Holy Ghost resting upon each and every one of us. The strength of the Holy Ghost resting upon you. you. Can feel a strong presence right now. I decree that the strength of the Holy Ghost is resting upon you. Be strong and courageous, for the strength of the Holy Ghost is resting upon you. In the name of Jesus. Be strong and courageous, for the strength of the Holy Ghost is resting upon you in the name of Jesus. Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. For the strength of the Lord is resting upon you. The strength of the Lord is resting upon you. I decree, receive strength right now. In the name of Jesus. This word just dropped in my spirit. There is a woman here. You have had a series of miscarriages. You have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for over seven years. And for each year you conceive. And for every time there is a conception, you keep on having miscarriages. Keep on miscarrying the babies. And ah, the Holy Spirit has asked me to speak to you today. Do not give up, for your season of abundance is coming. And I decree and speak over your life. Just like Anna waited upon the Lord, and she received that promise. As you wait upon the Lord, in the name of Jesus, I decree, receive your promise. In the name of Jesus, every spirit that is sponsoring that miscarriage, I want you to place your hand on your tummy and I decree in the name of Jesus, your spirit behind miscarriage, be gone in the name of Jesus, you foul spirits. The Bible says, be fruitful and multiply, replenish the earth. It is God's desire that families increase and multiply. When this doesn't happen, this means something is wrong somewhere. And I decree in the name of Jesus. That spirit is causing you not to bring forth. In the name of Jesus, be silenced. I decree over your life. You will carry your baby. In the name of Jesus, you will carry your baby. In the name of Jesus. And as a young man, you have been applying for a job for so long and it looks like there is no breakthrough. Right now, I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus, your breakthrough has come. In the name of Jesus, I decree your testimony has come. I want you to put in the comment section, I will testify. If you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb, decree I will carry my baby. If you have been trusting God for a miracle job, decree I have received my miracle job. I will carry my twins. I will carry my triplets in the name of Jesus. Oh, my raka feli brekede, i raka panu faraka thani malegede, i pereko thomba yadale koro, i raka thane suvrede, i ramade pereko palagada, i lake pereko to. Oh, my raka tele perekede, i ne meri suvraka felegede, i my raka thane suva. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. I raka palagada. E capeno va ya capele gere, ramane breko ton va gere, e rima raka pale koto, i fane ke pele ko para gere, rane su, i pele no su va, ve mi vinu su pele, i paraka ferri brede, i raka pele fana, i mane ke pele koso, e raka padash, e mane ferri brakatash. There was a leading to pray for your finances. There are lots of persons listening to me right now and since the day you came into the labor market, you started working, you started doing business till today. 
you've never recorded any major breakthrough you have been going around the circle but nothing is happening you have tried all you can you have applied all the skills that you can all the knowledge that you've learned you've put it into practice but nothing seems like it's going to work for you that is not the will of god for you god's will for you is for you to prosper god's will for you is for you to be established god's will for you is for you to attain a high a level of financial freedom and breakthrough God's will for you is to be a kingdom financier, a finance administrator, someone that can put his resources to the kingdom and produce the expected result. But your life does not speak of this reality now. It is not the will of God for you. God has the ability to turn this situation around. I don't know if there is someone here under the sound of my voice trusting God for a major breakthrough. I am yet to announce to you that that breakthrough is today. After this prayer, your experiences will be glorious. In the name of Jesus. Let's see the book of Agai chapter 2 from verse 8 and 9. But thus says the Lord of hosts, once more, it's a little while, I will shake heaven and earth, the sea and dry land, and I will shake all the nations, and they shall come to the desire of all nations. And I will fill this temple with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than that of the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give peace, says the Lord of hosts. God is saying to you, the silver belongs to him and the gold belongs to him everything in existence belongs to him and he's saying to you that the glory of the latter half shall be greater than the former everything that you are praying for is in jesus the bible says a cattle of a thousand hill belongs to our father he owns everything they are in his possession and he releases it to whom he feels like releasing it to. I don't know if I am speaking to someone today, but in the name of Jesus, you are one of the persons that the Lord has carefully selected to carry and champion the next financial move of the church. The Lord is putting in your head resources in the name of Jesus. And I decree that every spirit of stagnancy, every spirit of stagnation in your life, that has been stopping you from making progress in the name of jesus i decree that stagnation be gone in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i decree that the lord is satisfying you with his joy in the name of Jesus, you are experiencing the blessings of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, you are experiencing the favors of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, in every city where it looks like nothing is working, I decree by the Spirit, all things begin to work for your good. In the name of Jesus, I decree in the name of Jesus that you are prospering. I decree prosper now in the name of Jesus. No more lack in your life. I decree, enter into your place of rest. Enter into your wealthy place. In the name of Jesus. One of the proof of the Holy Spirit in a man, and know that this man is a carrier of the Spirit of God, is power. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of power. Acts 1 verse 8. And he shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses. Romani falapel. And I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost before the end of September you will experience a major breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Everyone is ended now. Enter into your wealthy place in the name of Jesus. No more lack in your life. No more want in your life. 
and I declare that every strange pattern that has hindered you for so long by the blood of Jesus be broken now in the name of Jesus just tear up the gifts of God that is inside of you. Just pray in the language of the Holy Ghost. He that prays in an unknown tongue speaks not to man, but the spirit searches the deep things, even the deepest things. The Spirit of God prays through you with groanings that cannot be altered. Wherever you are, begin to groan in the Holy Ghost. There is a spirit that walks inside of you that desires to make intercession in and through you. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Ela suba imande ke feri subrada e katanda ke feregede remana suba legede ila manda kayada e ke babana sude i ragatanda legede e ke pele fere subrade e rano subada e manda kanede e ke pelo kufaya da legede e rakapale kopas Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 to 14 and it says, Now we shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, the produce of your ground, and the increase of your herds, the increase of your cattle, and the offsprings of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneeling bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come against you in one way and they shall flee before you in seven ways. The Lord will command the blessings on you in your storehouses and in all to which you set your hands. And we bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as a holy people to himself, just as he has sworn to you. If you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, then all peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of you, yes. And the Lord will grant you plenty of goods in the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock and in the produce of your ground, in the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord will open to you his good treasures, the heavens to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the works of your hands. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath. If you heed the commandment of the Lord, your God, which I command you today, and are careful to observe them. I know I'm talking to obedient children of God. So I decree over your life in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the city. In the name of Jesus. I decree you are blessed in this field. I decree in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in your going out. You are blessed in your coming in. The nations of this world calls you blessed. In the name of Jesus. I decree that you live the victorious life. In the name of Jesus. I decree that everything that has stood 
has a wall against you, against your life, against your family. In the name of Jesus, I decree be broken right now. In the name of Jesus, I decree you are experiencing the light of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord is filling your heart with new experiences. In the name of Jesus, and I pray for as many that have been trusting God for one one thing or the other. You've tried and put your hand in various things, but you've not experienced the manifestations or the outcome that you desire. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the manifestation needed to capare kopalagede and meleferi subrada to take you to the forefront to put you ahead of your prayers. In the name of Jesus, I decree, receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, I decree by the blood of the Lamb, the world will hear your testimony. All things begin to work for your good. In the name of Jesus, Ali Parakatenufa, I decree by the blood of the Lamb, you are not a borrower, you are a lender. In the name of Jesus, nations will come to you for help. Kingdoms will come to you for help. In the name of Jesus, I decree that your head is anointed with oil. The Lord has filled your heart with the joy of your salvation. In the name of Jesus, the blessings that come with being a child of God rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, I decree, be blessed. I command you, you are blessed and highly favored. In the name of Jesus, I declare you are blessed and highly favored. In the name of Jesus, I decree by the Spirit of God, all things work for your good. You will not be a failure. You succeed all around. In the name of Jesus, I launch you to your place of destiny. I launch you to your place of purpose. I decree doors are open unto you. Receive your blessings. In the name of Jesus. And to as many that are trusting God for one healing or major miracle or the other. I decree and I declare. By this time tomorrow. Standing on the authority that I have in the word of God. By this time tomorrow. You will receive your blessing. In the name of Jesus. Enter into your place of rest. Enter into your wealthy place. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. I want you to put it in the comment section. I have received my blessing. I am blessed and highly favored. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' most precious name, we have declared. Amen. For you.